Hey everyone, Rainy Julie here for our second night of cooking at home. Um, today we are making goulash, one of my mom's favorite uh, meals that she used to make us growing up, <laughs> and fried taters and onions. So, what do you think? Yum, yum. Yes. So, right now it's just, um, what did you use? Just regular vegetable oil? Yep. And cut up some potatoes and white on oh, yellow onions. Yellow onions. And um, some hamburger meat and the little elbow macaroni. So stay tuned. We're going to use uh, fire roasted diced potatoes, um, potatoes, tomatoes, and just a regular uh, tomato sauce. But Randy thought that was going to be pretty good. So we're going to try that and see what that tastes like. While we're waiting for dinner, I wanted to show y'all our little Valentine's um, table. I got this at a little store, Hobby Lobby, and I want to say, is it at home? At home. Um, I don't know where everybody lives, but this is pretty cool. I just love that. And then our little tree. I didn't even take down the Christmas tree. I just decorated it in a... Valentine's. I don't know if y'all do that, but I think it's adorable. I love it. I see, it has all the little stuff in it. My mom loved hummingbirds, so I always put a hummingbird. Tell me what you think. Little parts here. I love us. Oops. I missed an icicle. That's not supposed to go on there. Okay. Potatoes are getting brown. The meat's getting brown. And the noodles are a cooking. This is really all you need to have. I know it's a lot of starch, but it makes a good meal. You might have a salad with it. it would probably be healthy than rose Randy would want rose but a salad would be better but yeah that's all there is y'all it's just a good good dinner fills you up and it smells so good I wish I could smell that I love the smell of potatoes and onions and onions Okay, got the meat done. I'm gonna put in the diced potatoes. I, mean, I keep saying potatoes, tomatoes. Potato, tomato, it's the same. <laughs> but this is what it is, it's fire roasted diced. And I'm gonna put in some tomato sauce. I'm gonna stir all that up, a pretty color. And then when this is done, and the macaroni's done. I'm gonna, just going to pour that over that. And really, that's it. Randy's over here doing the potatoes. Looks pretty. Mm -mm. Makes me miss my mom. My mom could cook. Mm -hmm. She made the best pies. Dinner, catfish. She was good. Okay. Okay. I drained the water out of the macaroni. And I'm just going to pour this in the pan. There's a lot of water still left in there. No. Oh. Just like that. Oh, looky there. Randy, don't that look great? Mm -hmm. And I always add a little bit of red pepper. Mm -hmm. Red pepper? Yes. Crushed red pepper. Just to give it a little bit of a fire taste. But we got the fire roasted. 
tomatoes, so I don't want to put a whole lot in here. Don't that look great? Mmm, mmm. We got another batch of potatoes cooking. Maybe I already did this one over here. Good. Okay, dinner is done. I already put some salt and pepper. I already did a taste test and it was awesome. Has a little bit of a kick, but it was good. Randy's having those look good with some ketchup. Mm -mm. What do you think, babe? Mm -hmm. You ready for this dinner? Yeah. Me and Randy eat out all the time and this week we was like, well, we're going to stay home and cook. So last night, watch that video. We did um, deboning a chicken. Um, with a freezer bag. I have to say y'all that does work. It gets a lot of the meat off the bones. Um, so watch that video and if you want just a simple meal. It probably took about 15-20 minutes to cook this. Um, we're just waiting on the potatoes. So yeah. Please like and subscribe. Let me know. Comment. Let me know if y'all ever had goulash like this or if your mom or <coughs> if y'all do it differently. Always looking for different recipes and stuff. All right. Thanks, y'all. Bye. Enough for you or more? A little more. Perfect. Look at that, y'all.